What's up people, I play Pokemon Board here, and here is my first Pokemon Online battle, so let's get started. I'm going to lead off with a Rome Wash, my opponent's going to lead off with a Triantar, predicting my Hydro Pump. He's going to switch into a, uh, Superior, and I'm going to predict his, um, his Leaf Storm, so that's why I'm going to switch into Heatran. He does go for that, and... Yes, it does absolutely nothing to my Heatran. It looks like it just missed, but there's no rocks up or anything, so I believe I go for a um, Fire Blast, and he switches into his Infernape. Um, yeah, I got it. I get a crit, and then the Sandstorm takes him out, so that's actually pretty awesome. So now he is going to switch into. Um, I swear, I wait to find out here because I forget. Or he's just taking a while. Oh, he switches into Salamence. So now, uh, I don't know what I'm going to do. I believe that I'm going to try to go for the Hidden Power Ice. Because that seems like the smartest move considering if he has Earthquake or not. I, he goes, he over predicts and goes for the Dragon Dance. While well, I go for, well, I just straight out go for Hidden Power. And that ends up being really good for me because I believe that he would have the Earthquake to, because that's when most Salamences carry that aren't mixed, that are D-Dance. So now he goes into T-Tar. He's gonna go for Earthquake. Um, I'm not sure why I didn't switch out there, but I go for Earth Power. He does more to me with Earthquake than I do to him with Earth Power, so I'm gonna now have to leave my Heatran in as fire. <sighs> Sorry about that. <clears throat> and that's um, exactly what happens. So now... I'm, pro I'm assuming I'll switch into my scarf for the wash and just go for hydro pump. I failed to mention that my lead Rotom is scarf. That's why it has all attacking moves, and I just have the unexpected dark pulse on there just because I can. So I do go for the hydro pump. It doesn't do much to the superior. The first hydro pump did miss. That's why there was no damage on it. So now I'm going to switch into my Magna Zone, predicting the leaf storm. But then, after the special attack raise and a crit, he was able to kill me. So now, I believe I switch out <coughs> into Lainu and go sh straight out for the extreme speed, because he could outspeed me anyways. And I just feel a superior sweep coming at this point. So, or not. I think I could, um, I forget what I do here. I he goes for goes for ring out. That doesn't kill my Zapdos, but um, Thunderbolt will kill him off. So now we both have three Pokemon left. My Zapdos is at barely any health left. I have a Gliscor, and I still have my lead Rotom. So um, he goes for the Dragon Dance, trying to set up late game with no health, which is kind of a bad play because. He's about to die anyways. I don't really know why he would be trying to set up. But, <clears throat> I send out my Rotom. And I'm obviously going to go for the Scarf Hydro Pump. Because anything else would not kill him. So, now I, I just have my Gliscor, which he doesn't know yet, and my Rotom. So now, he goes to the Porygon Z. I'm just going to go for Hydro Pump again. Because Gliscor can't really take this Porygon Z that well. And, um, I still don't know his last Pokemon. I do go, I go for the Hydro Pump. It doesn't quite kill him. And he went for the Tri-Attack, I believe, and died to his own Life Orb, which is pretty awesome. So now, this is the end of the game here. He just sends out an extra drill off my Glyph score. He can do absolutely nothing to me. So I'm just going to get to Earthquake, and that's going to be good game. Random person on Pokemon Online. So don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, give this video a thumbs up for me starting to make videos again, and expect some Minecraft videos coming soon, so peace out people.